Okay, welcome to the Yukon um, YK302 tutorial for the programming part, the second part. The first part, I'll show you how to wire it up. So I've been test running this controller for a while now. Quickly take you through the controls. Here's the on-off switch, um, on switch. There's your relative humidity set button, your, relative, uh, your temperature set button, and up and down arrows to, to enable setting the values. Then you've got a light switch here. Um, if you switch that on, there's a green light, uh, a yellow light coming on saying that's the light. At the moment, there is no light connected, so it's switched off. This is your defrost button, and this light in the middle would come on. Um, I'll el elaborate on the defrost function because uh, uh, this controller will defrost your, your setup. Um, I'll show you in a while, Not I had to disable that. There's your compressor or your fridge indicator light on. At the moment, the fridge is running at 10 degrees. Um, I'm busy cooling. My humidity is 75%. And I've got a fan control here. The fans, the green light is on. I've got two fans in here. So quickly showing you the fridge setup or the, the, the climate control chamber as it's called. So the bottom part is the freezer. So here's my humidifier running. You can see there's a bit of mist coming out here. And I've got these two computer fans, they're 12 volt fans, uh, one, two, and they're there to push the, push the mist up into the top chamber and, and create humidity. I've, um, okay, so I'm using it as a fridge at, at the moment. I've got beef stored in here, which I'm gonna process tonight. But yeah, then I've got, I've got an outlet here. I've, 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 I've created a hole to get flow through <coughs> and I've actually closed it up again. Didn't need that. So, sorry. Okay, so those are the fans that are currently running. So there we go. So they, they run. Um, and that's all run through the computer, uh, uh, through this controller. So quickly, give you um, a setup. Um, the humidifier was um, has got factory settings. So eventually I did get the I did get the English instruction sent um, but via email after I've, I've queried how to wire it up and after I wired and after my first tutorial I actually received this in my email um, it's it's um, Chinese translation um, so if you go to parameter setting long press temperature or humidity set for six seven, seconds into the program setting displaying F1 then press up and down or to choose the menu which is F1 up to C3, and then select your function. No press within six seconds to back normal operation. So <laughs> definitely Chinese, um, Chinese guy whose um, English is not really all that smooth. Um, then there's a parameter lock, um, and then there's a restore, restore factory setting. If you keep on pressing one of the, the down button, a triple eight will show and it will restore to your factory setting and I've done that once or twice now um, and then this is your function menu quickly take you through that so here's your function menu or program reference form so quickly um, F1 is your temperature F1 F2 F3 is your temperature hysteresis which I think is the lag time or the value it takes before the controller kicks in. So at the, the factory setting is four degrees. Um, um, I've, I've brought that down to one degree. Then there's a delay start. The controller takes two minutes to kick in. I've changed that as well. Um, the calibration I left is this. Defrost duration. So the factory setting is that at 20 minutes, this thing will, the controller will go into defrost for 20 minutes every six hours that's the interval i changed that because i don't want i don't want to i don't want every six hours for this fridge to stop for 20 minutes it's just not going to happen so um then it's got some dis displays and then there are alarm values so I see c1 2 and 3 i'm not using those um fan control so that's h1 there are values one to four the factory setting is two which means it's synchronized to the compressor. Defrost when start, I haven't got a clue what that means. I've put mine to four, H1, uh, to, to, because I wanted to operate and defrost close means it's not running when it's closed. So 
basically it will only the fans will only stop running if it's defrost mode um the same thing as with temperature a1 and a2 are your 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 relative humidity settings the factory is 75 i increased that to 95 then the humidity hysteresis is five percent I've, I've decreased that as well so go scroll through i'm not going to go through the, all the details so i'm just going to quickly scroll through the factory settings again you can you can pause and read what you need to know lighting duration so you can put a light in there and you can make the you can make the setting zero so your light will always be on and heat the chamber um and 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 if you want to run at higher temperatures your fridge will kick in and out your fridge will just run warmer okay so so i'll just quickly give you so fan control let's quickly give you an example of how to change this thing so you've got to press your your set button for more than six um, six seconds there it goes onto e1 i want to change the fan which is h1 so i keep on pressing until i get h1 there it is then i hit the set button and those are the values one two three four okay fan control i want to put mine to four one two three four and then i'll leave it and it will just blink a bit and the value will be accepted okay there we go so that was my fan control give you another example humidity highest rh control which is a2 factory setting is 75 so again go to keep setting that so i want a2 and i keep pressing up and down a2 press the set button it's set to 95 the factory setting was 75 i want to i want to have humidity in this chamber up to 95 and and that's the principle and then you just leave it and that's it there we go so now if i go relative humidity set it's on 80 degrees the factory setting would have prevented me to go up this high I can go to whatever value I want. Okay, so I'll just leave that. Now, here's the other thing: the defrost, um, uh, uh, the defrost. So, this thing has on E1 and E2. Every six hours, sorry, E1, E2. Every six hours, your fridge will stop running for 20 minutes. I don't want that. I want E2 to be 24 so here we go e2 24 so push the button one two so it's e2 e2 there we go hit the set button and i'll put it to 24 hours okay so it was on six hours i'll put it to 24 hours leave it and it'll kick in so every 24 hours, my machine will go into defrost mode. All right. Um, now, the defrost interval. Okay, so E1 is how long will it switch off? It will switch off for 20 minutes. I want it to, I don't even want it to switch off. So my, my limitation is one minute. So every 24 hours, this whole thing will go into defrost mode for one minute if I... So E1, let's double check what's on E1. One, two, three, four, there we go. E1 set is on one minute. It doesn't take, it, you can't put zero. So there we go. So every 24 hours, this controller will go into the defrost mode for one minute, which basically is something I've got to live with, which I think I can. So again, scroll through here. That's basically a, your reference form. You can sort of just refer to that in this video. And again, those are the codes. Um, you made it, so there's a couple of, uh, 
So I want to have this thing switch on, say for instance, temperature hysteresis. So it should, it's possibly four degrees. So F3, if I want to make the tolerance a bit closer, so let's go to F3, one, two, keep on pressing. So F3, there we go, set, it's on four degrees. If I want to make this thing very sensitive that it should switch on and off when it deviates by one degree that's the well, that's the setting all right so i've now fine-tuned the temperature hysteresis i've put that to one um temperature control i want to leave as this the delay start it takes two minutes so f4 f4 is two minutes um, that basically means it takes two minutes to kick in when you switch it on so let's go again. I, mean, I want to I want to switch this thing on. When the controller goes on, I want everything to. Um, so F four is set on two minutes. So let's do this again. Keep on pressing. There we go. F four set. It's on two minutes. I'm going to make it zero. I want it to kick in straight away. Don't know why they have that. But anyhow, so these are the things. That's the concept, that's the principle. Um, I'm gonna scroll over the English part as well. If you wanna read that, pause and read it. It's, um, if you wanna use the alarm mode, defrosting, um, but that's in essence that, all right? So this temperature, um, um, this controller is actually working quite nicely. I've been quite happy with it so far. So I hope you enjoyed the second part, this tutorial. It completes your setup and now using it as well. Um, thank you.